Hello, everyone. Welcome to a cryptic crossword. Um, I just felt like doing one of these today, as I sometimes do. Um, we're continuing to travel back in time through the New York Times archive, and we're in late 2015 at the moment. Um, just a reminder for those of you who are new to cryptics, it's, you know, like an, like an American crossword, you got to fill in all the letters, um, and they got to match up when there's intersections. Um, but each clue gives you the definition or the word twice, so it should be easy, right? Well, no, because both of the ways are kind of hard. Uh, one of them is kind of an oblique definition, and the other is some kind of wordplay, which can often be rather far-fetched. But there are rules for like what they're allowed to do. And uh, as you can see, there are, there are letters which are not part of an intersection, whereas in an American crossword, every letter typically would be. So, you know, you have to actually get clues from the letters they're in. Anyway, I, I, I find it a lot of fun trying to twist your mind around to see what they're, uh, what they're getting at here. Young animal, all oh, right, there, there's an invisible divider somewhere in the clue. On one half is the definition, and on the other half is the wordplay, and you have to figure out where, where it is and what the answer is. Young animal found behind the post office is easy catch. A layup is something that's easy and is kind of related to catching, but not really. A young animal. I don't know. Lover embraces trendy venture capitalist. So if I had to guess here, venture capitalist is the definition. How many letters are in invent investor? No. So, it, because it kind of looks like embraces means goes around. So you could take a word meaning lover and write it around a word meaning trendy. And then the wordplay would make sense, right? Oh my god, they have a long one here. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to need some help on that one, I assume. And this one. I usually don't solve these myself. I've gotten, I think, three of them in my life, including the most recent one, if you want to go back and watch that. Spoilers. But usually I have to stop and ask for help. Develop nostalgia for equator. Well, develop could mean to, like, change around the letters in something, and nostalgia has nine letters, so probably... We're meant to rearrange the letters in nostalgia as the word play and for equator would be the definition, maybe. Although the question mark usually, I think, means they're playing with the format a little, and so there might not be this clear distinction between the word play and the definition. Hmm, I'm not sure. Edgy grammar subject. Edgy. Edgy grammar subject. Uh, I don't really know what's going on there. No historical fiction author initially hires support. Initially usually means... Like, it can mean at first. It's re it's usually referring to the first letter of a word or words. Like, but I don't know which words. 
Grr. And no historical, I don't know, might mean to like remove his, hmm, I don't know. Pinch hitter and comedian J left diamond. So J probably is just the letter J somewhere in the definition, in the wordplay, rather. Left kind of makes me think we should write something backwards. Write it from right to left. In the leftwards direction. What about jester? That's not seven letters. Starts with a J, it's related to comedians, but I don't see what it has to do with the rest of this. Its health club is very small. Don't know. Corporate owner holds back letters for group of legislators. How many letters in senators? No. Not having a good start today. Sometimes it goes better. Sometimes, you know, it picks up once I have some crosses. We'll see. Corporate owner. Well, that could be, that would be a CEO, right? Holds back letters for group of legislators. I don't know. Enforcer tainted boxes without a doubt. Well, without a doubt could be for certain. Is there any way this makes sense? I see an enforcer here, sort of. Boxes. Without a doubt. Oh, box. I see. Boxes is is a is a is a hidden indicator. If we look in here, we see for certain is hidden inside of enforcer tainted. Okay, and it means without a doubt. Great. Finally got an answer. Questions sage allowed. Well, like, so allowed probably is a mishearing indicator. So we're supposed to mishear a word for sage. And it should mean questions. I mean, asks obviously means questions. But I don't see how that means sage. Wise. Or no, hang on. It should be wise like that. Right, questions are wise, or wise are questions, and sage, you, you might call a sage person wise, which you could mishear as wise. Director's wild romance. Wild is probably an anagram for uh, romance, which is seven letters long. We should get something that means directors somehow. I mean, I see Cameron is in these letters, but I don't see why that would be related to a director. Well, I mean, Cameron, what's his name? There, there's a director whose last name is Cameron, right? I can't think who it is, but why would there be a plural?
Groups of ship workers go sailing by the sound. Okay, by the sound, I think is probably another in mishearing. So go sailing. Hmm. I'm not sure how you would say go sailing in in other words. Set C. I guess. But how do you mishear that as anything? European countries resistance against love and fervor. What like maybe the there's a word for like the army of Germany for example that starts with R that could be their resistance I don't know pupil ultimately meriting scholarship. Pupil. I mean, pupil ultimately could be the letter L. And then we have to have L followed by something that means, yeah, 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 yeah. That means meriting. The word is learning. And it's kind of nice that pupil actually relates to that as well. Um, it doesn't have to. It's part of the wordplay. It's just you there for the letter L. Um, but if you merit something, you earn it. And a scholarship is learning. Sorry, not a you know, someone with a lot of scholarship has a lot of learning, right? Not not like something that pays for your college, but just like the the quality of having studied. Oh, there's two of these big ones. I didn't even notice. Doctor, married, lover. Okay, doctor is an anagram indicator for married, which is seven letters long. Like you can doctor a photo, right? You could doctor this word to rearrange its letters. Lover. I don't see how to do the anagram, though. Darmier, Dermer, Darium, Dariem. Boredom is over, all of us said. Is this ennui somehow? Means boredom? Is over, all of us said. Okay, well, all of us could be we. Is over. I don't quite understand how that could be n on. Oh, yeah, if you had like something all over your face, you could have something on your face. So if it's on we, someone might have thought you were saying is over all of us. Okay, sure. Relative, nearly swallowing salad ingredient. Is someone who acts without thinking. Obviously, like swallowing suggests an anagram, or not an anagram, but a word play, a word surrounded by another word but I don't have enough context yet. Butcher's merriment. Following first piece of steak. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if butchers is like the definition. The merriment following first piece of steak. You have merriment like joy or glee at the end of something somehow. Hmm. The G here makes it awkward though. Recess is pleasant outside hospital. I mean, a recess is a break. I don't know. Litigants, obvious argument. Ends with F. Plaintiff? Yeah, it's a plaintiff. Um, a litigant is a plaintiff. An obvious argument is a plain tiff. Stranger anties up trivial amounts of money. Amount, not amounts. Uh, I do see we have this P here. So P-O. Oh, a pop-up, maybe. Yes. An easy catch is a pop-up in baseball. A young animal is a pup, and it's found behind a post office. P-O. I'm wondering if stranger might be an anagram indicator for anties up. And we got this P here, which confirms that idea a little bit. But I'm not sure what else to do. Yeah, I don't know. Religious figure announced return. Pastor? Doesn't really seem quite right. Priest also fits, but what does this have to do with announced return? What does this have to do with announced return? Neither, right? Is there some way we can return, i.e. right backwards announced? Rot sap? I don't think that means announced. Uh, it doesn't, sorry, it could be split here. It could just be religious. And then figure announced return. Hmm. What's a word for religious that starts with P? I don't know. Stormy rain data. Results. Act of God. I have no idea. Northern prosecutor near New England capital is passable. Northern prosecutor? Uh, that... Could it mean to write something northerly, i.e. from bottom to top? Maybe. But I don't know what. And I don't know, like, I mean, I don't know that many New England capitals. Boston. You know, it's about the only one I can think of. I belong off base. 
Tamam. Orchestra section makes interpretations for the audience. They got the, you know, the horns, brass, maybe. Makes interpretations for the audience. I don't know. Restricted military areas, true distance. While a base is a restricted military area. Which I think is worth penciling, even though I don't know what the rest is. True distance. I don't know. Free thinkers present or present. Idiosyncrasy. I just noticed serpent and present use the same letters. Huh. It doesn't seem relevant here since we have an eight, so it can't be an anagram. And also serpent is not really related, but... Present idiosyncrasy. Present. Hmm. Muslim leader connected to one Yardbird's hit. And it's a three letter thing. Okay, so I guess it's I'm a man. A Muslim leader as an, is an imam, which is where I started. And then I tried to go the rest of the way with... By, like, just figuring out what you could do with these dang... Not not the definition or the, the wordplay, but just what the heck... How do you split imam up? I'm a... They need an M... And okay, man, and then you can see the wordplay as, okay, imam is connected to, i.e. comes before, one, an, right? If you have an ice cream, you have one ice cream. Group of ship workers. Oh man, this is all I was able to get on my first pass? That's brutal. Develop nostalgia for equator, okay. And, well, I mean, what if we said anti-something? Then we would have left G, A, O, S, L. Antilagos. Antigolas. Angalo... No. Trivial amount of money. Any of these that I have new crosses for? Not really. Oh, hang on. We were looking at the crosses. Edgy grammar subject. Edgy. Like noun. A noun is a grammar subject. A part of speech is a grammar subject. Syntax. Edgy grammar.
no historical so maybe it starts with no and then we need a historical fiction author initially hires Oh, it is just that simple. Itsy. Because the Y, I guess you can call a health club, which I wouldn't think to do, but I've never really been to a Y, so, you know, YMCA. So what do I know? Um, but its Y could be its health club. And something very small is Itsy. Stranger. Anties up. I still think we want to rearrange the letters in that. Is there a word for like a pittance that is spelled this way? You know, the put ands? Pute ands? And I don't know. Sadly, Itzy only gave us one letter, one cross to work with. Director's Wild Romance. Okay, well, we found the R. And we think we're being asked to anagram romance. James Cameron, that's the director I was thinking of, right? Yeah, maybe that's all they're asking for. Anagram letters in romance, get Cameron, who's a director, sure. Roman... Roman something? Is this romance? Really? I don't... I don't think so. Because something that's a European country is, could be Roman. Right? It was, Rome was a country in Europe. But I don't understand what that has to do with against love and fervor. I mean, I don't know. Let's write it in and see if I can explain it. I don't know. Not really. I'll leave it in, though, because I think it's right, even if I don't know why. Ah, cruise. I see. Groups of ship workers are crews, and to go sailing is to cruise. Butcher's merriment. Huh. Okay, well, we got the M in our married anagram, I guess. That's something. Damn, damn, dim, dim, rim, ram, rem, ram. I don't know. Usually I'm pretty good at 
I mean, at least okay at anagrams, but I've had a lot of trouble with today's. Oh, have I gotten any? Cameron, I guess. Butcher's Merriment. I want it to be like, you know, sheer joy or something, right? But it's not. Recess is pleasant. Outside. Hospital. Recess. I mean, I see that like nice is related to pleasant. But something going outside hospital should probably be like written around OR or ER or something like that. Anties up. I mean, I could be wrong about wanting to anagram anties up. But it's quite a coincidence we got the P and the S, isn't it? I'm just going to start asking for help. Do I? Am I right with what I have so far, at least? Okay, this... Stuff was wrong. Roman, rom, 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 I don't know how else you're supposed to say something romantic. Romantic, is that a thing you can say? Resistance against love and fervor. Like, I don't understand. Is that right? No. I don't know what to write here. Romania? Oh, it's just, it's a European country, not a European countries, I guess. Against? Resistance against love and fervor? What the hell? Okay. Okay, yeah, I get it now. It's pretty tough. You can write a resistance with the like an with an R, right? Um in like elect electrical diagrams. And love is a score of zero in tennis, which we could write with an O. And finally, mania is fervor. Ouch. Oh, is this slaughter? Yeah, the first peak of, piece of steak is S. And that follows merriment, which is laughter, to get slaughter, which is a thing a butcher does. It is a butcher's thing. Oh, God, really? What letter can even go here? It has to be E, right? And then we're left with NTU. Peanuts is a trivial amount of money. 
Yeah, okay. The two A's suggest I'm right about wanting to rearrange the letters in nostalgia. But I don't know how. What uh, what do you have when when your butt is haunted? You got you got anal ghosty. Uh, anal ghosty is is in your butt. Uh, unluckily, that's not the right answer. Does anagram though? <laughs> Initially hires support. I don't know. It's all too hard today. Well, it wasn't pastor or priest. That's good, at least. Well, a pi pious means religious. But then we have to find a way to use an, another letter and have the whole thing mean figure announce return, which I don't think is right. P R O T something. Does that mean a religious figure? I don't know, man. Why do I get only the vowels? I have them all now, right? I have NSTLG left. Anatoligs. I mean, I basically skipped these clues because they're so long. Which doesn't always mean they're hard, but I, I looked at them briefly and didn't have any ideas at all. Stormy rain data results. Captivated by takeoff light. Is this a flight attendant? I was actually trying to think of like, what's the word for a stewardess? But I didn't really see any particular reason it should be that until I had enough letters. Yeah, flight attendant, so. Captivated by takeoff. Light at ten is right in here. A T T T E N. So we have light and at ten, and then Dan. Captivated by. Oh, no. The whole thing is just a hidden. There's a flight attendant right there, isn't there? Flight attendant, yes. So it's all... This whole thing is captivated by takeoff light at 10 Dan tripped. Um, 
And someone on a plane is a flight attendant. Okay, hopefully that helps. Doesn't seem to help me here, though. I still have no idea what's going on. Nounish. Nourish? Ooh, nourish might mean support. What does it have to do with no? And then historical could be ur. Author. Initially. I don't quite understand that. But this should be right, right? Yeah. Why? No or yeah, I get that. Author. Author initially hires. How does that turns out turn out to be I S H? I mean, I see that I, H, and S are kind of here, but... Oh, no, remember, support is not part of the wordplay. It's the definition. So author initially hires somehow has to be I, S, H. I don't know. Something like a pro, like a, a protest is not, I think, a religious thing. It's like a bacteria or something. Right? Well, prophet. A prophet with a P H E T is a religious figure. And if Yeah, so pro a religious figure announced, you might think they were saying profit. And the return on something is its profit in, in financial calculations. I still don't know this. Well, there's not a lot of letters that can go here, are they? L or S, basically. Or N. Hmm. But not G. We narrowed it down a little. I'm just still lost. I mean, there's only six ways you can rearrange these letters now, right? N, S, no, N, L, G. Oh, well, there it is. Okay. Oops. An analogist is someone who sort of equates things in a way, right? Lover embraces trendy. Don't know. Okay, a fundraiser is a venture capitalist. A fund owner. 
But that's not a single word, so that can't be it. Stormy rain data results. Act of God. Natural disaster. Natural something. Oh, disaster fits. I just didn't need to type all the letters in it. I don't totally understand it yet. Stormy. So act of God. Yeah, natural disaster. Got it. Stormy. Oh, wow. Really? Is rain data results an anagram for natural disaster? That's pretty cool. I guess so. Corporate owner. I don't know. Pinch hitter and comedian. Pinch. Hitter and comedian. I don't know. There's a J in there somewhere, though. I, I bet my life on it. Corporate owner holds back. I still don't know. What about this? Now we have a T here, maybe? Relative nearly swallowing salad ingredient. Don't know. Now we have the AM. Admirer is a lover of a thing. Free thinkers present idiosyncrasy. Is this like heroism somehow? Heroics? I don't see how that's really related to a free thinker. Recess is pleasant outside the hospital. Heretic fits this shape. Yeah. But how does it fit the def like okay, yeah, free thinker, fine, could be a heretic. But present idiosyncrasy is a here tick. I see. Okay. Okay. Nearly swallowing tomato a salad ingredient. Uh, ingredient. We should have a tomato, right? And a relative nearly could be an aunt. And if you just drop the T off the end, you'd have an on which could swallow the tomato to get you an automaton. Like, is this just nicer? I don't understand why. Yeah, it's not. A recess could be an, an, a niche, I guess.
And then we have Pleasant outside of hospital. H for hospital, you can see on a sign. Because the H, that makes sense, I guess. It's kind of a tough one. I don't usually think of a niche as a recess. Used more uh, metaphorically than literally for a long time. Restricted military area, and it's not base, huh? A test range. True distance, test range. I don't totally understand that, but okay. Still don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have bet my life on a J. Pinch hitter and comedian, J. You can fit Roombas in here, but that's not related to the clue at all. I mean, I could look at these downs now that I have a couple that are, I guess. What the hell is going on here? Pinch hitter. Is this really Roombas? Why? No, thank God. Oh, a rhombus is a diamond. Okay. I don't understand what hit, pinch hitter and comedian J has to do with any of this. Maybe I need to know specific people that I don't know. I don't know. Brass, winds, drums. I don't know. This is a three-word phrase, and the second word is blank O. So it's got to be done like two, right? Or so? Or do? I don't know. Tense. Something tense is edgy, and that's a grammar subject. Okay. Reads? Is that a... Sure, that's an orchestra section, I guess. And to make interpretations is to reads. If you make interpretations, you read. And the audience might think you had said read. New England capital. 
Still don't really know. We have this R now, though. Still don't know. Financier is a venture capitalist. Lover embraces trendy. Something trendy is in, and a lover is a fancier of something. Okay. Don't know this one. I belong. I and I uh, I on uh, I'm just hopeless today. I mean, so N could just be Northern. And a prosecutor could be an Atty. But then we get Nat, Yo. This is just horrible. Something not so bad is passable, I guess? What does that have to do with the wordplay? Northern is N or maybe N O. Prosecutor? I don't know. Let's look up a New England Capitals just out of curiosity. Hartford, Augusta, Boston, Concord, Providence, Montpellier, or Montpelier, as I assume English people would or Americans would say it. That's about it. Or is it? Metropolitan areas and capitals. Oh my gosh. Oh, state capitals. Hartford, Augusta, Boston, Concord, Providence, Montpellier. None of those look related to this. New England capital. I just don't know. In um M at er Ernival God, just kill me. What what is this? I'm no, I don't know. Ignoble. Oh, off is the anagram indicator for I belong. I see. And something base is not elevated. It's ignoble.
M E N T seems pretty reasonable. Holds back letters. Calls a meet. No, Parliament. Is a group of legislators. Corporate owner. Where's the corporate oh, corporate owner in here? Back letters. Corporate owner. I don't get it. But I'm done. I got it. I'm I gotta go like rest my brain. This was horrible. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.